I just fell over. I can't keep my back. I feel like normally if it's still hot, it just goes back to being straight, so I'm gonna let it sit. But while I do that, I'm gonna do my makeup, so. I just remembered that I actually have to wear a mask to school. <laughs> so there's no point in me doing my makeup like on the bottom half of my face. Probably won't. <laughs> to start coming up. My friend is on her way to come get me, so I literally need to hurry up. <laughs> Putting my shoes on. <laughs> this is my huge book bag that I have. But yeah. I'm officially ready for my first day of senior year. Feels like just yesterday I was a freshman. So. Anyways, I'm going to go get my lunchbox, get a water bottle, and I'm gonna be leaving. So 
I will talk to you guys after my first day of school and let you guys know how it went. So yeah, love you guys for now. All right, what is up you guys? Um, it is currently 6.55. I got out of school at 2.15. Let me shut my door so my dogs stop barking. Sorry. Let me tell you how school went today. First off, my school like blocked off like half of the parking. Don't know why. Literally the hallways are so empty. Like I'm not even kidding. Like no one was there. It felt like I was late to school even though I wasn't. I get to my first period class and I'm in like the TV like production thing. I can't say it because it has my school's name in it. But it's like the announcements production class and I've been waiting to do it all high school. I ended up being the only kid in there. <laughs> High school separated people by A through K names and then from then on like the rest of the alphabet goes on a different day So I go Mondays and Wednesdays and not only that but kids can choose to be in a class But do it online as well, which I don't know how that works if you're in The class show up and I'm the only person in that class for like my thing There's radio kids in there But there was three radio kids in the class and they aren't doing the same thing as me So it's like I have nobody to help me or like teach me anything exception of the teacher which is like fine like it's gonna be great anyways I've just it's just really weird and there was a girl in that class that I was like excited to have that class with and then we got separated because of her last names it just like sucks uh, just a tad bit and I mean my second period class I'm in a true crime class where we learn about like serial killers and all that and um oh my god there's kids at my door let's go see <laughs> Okay, she didn't ring the doorbell, but I opened it and told her she just wanted to know if my little sister could play, but they're not home. My second period class is a true crime class where we learn about serial killers and like unsolved mysteries and we like dive deep down into that, those like topics. So I'm like super excited about that class and I love that teacher to death. She's like, she's just one of the funnest teachers I've ever had. My third period class, I have art. It's art, <laughs> like I'm taking 2D art this year. And that's normally a class that like freshmen take to get their like art credit out of the way. I took 3D art and I loved that class. Personally, I like 3D art more than 2D art. I don't really like drawing, but I'll still enjoy it. So it's whatever. That teacher's super nice, she's super chill. My fourth period class, I have Fine Eye, which is a math class. I just took a math, I don't have to take a math, I actually have all my math credits that I need to graduate, but um, I still took one anyways, because I'm stupid. My fifth period class is my econ class. That teacher is so nice and funny. She's just really like welcoming and like loves everyone. So I'm excited about that class. We got to like build marshmallow towers and then we played Scattergory, so it was fun. And she just makes class like more interesting. My sixth period class is my favorite class and that is mass media. Two. So I took mass media last year and I absolutely love that class and I love the teacher to death. She is such a chill teacher. I'm super shy though so it's like she doesn't know how much I like her as a teacher but I literally like she's just a really good teacher. Has inspired me to like go into that career of entertainment and stuff like that. And then my seventh period class is personal finance, which is a class about like finance your life and like how to not be in debt and like why you shouldn't borrow money for things and how to do stocks and marketing and all that. And I did that class because it's useful information that I feel like everyone should probably know before they go out of high school instead of being like set up for failure. I'm just super excited to take that class because I actually want to know what I should and shouldn't be doing with my life. Those are all my classes. I actually like my schedule. It's just so long to me. Normally I have a study hall. I don't have a study hall this semester, which is like new. I've, just, I've always had a study hall. I just didn't take one this semester, which it's fine. Going to school is such a burden with the, uh, you know, because, because of, you know, her. <laughs> her, yeah. Uh -huh. We have one-way hallways and it's the hallways that are like the most useful hallways which personally um, um, I don't think it does anything because the same amount of people are still walking in the hallway just in the same direction because you have to walk down the hallway and then like turn and then go the other way if you need to get to a class because you can't walk like this in a hallway anymore. You have to go one way. And not only that, but my school lost power in the front of the building for like 
three periods, so the air conditioning was off. We couldn't do any of the activities that we needed to do, so that really sucked. Lunch, you have to sit at the same table every single day and sign in with a QR code. And yeah, I mean, that's fine. I have lunch with my boyfriend, which is great. It's just a burden. Like, I wish I could do online school, to be honest. If you're in a sport, you weren't allowed to do the online portion of school. So that kind of sucks. I could cheer or do online school. So I'm just like, I'd rather have an, a good experience for my last year with cheer than not do it at all just because I wanted to do online school. Um, and then we have to scan QR codes to go to the restroom so that they know our every move wherever we're at in the building. We have to scan when we leave, what bathroom we're going to, and then when we get back we have to scan it again and say that we were, we returned back. I just feel like everyone was super excited to return back to school and it ended up just not being like anyone expected. It's a very interesting first day of school, especially for being my senior year, and I was so excited. I waited all high school to finally be a senior, and uh, it's just not worth it. <laughs> I really hope things go back to normal soon. I mean, the first day wasn't bad. It was just like, really, like, wow, this is it. Like, this is what I have to go through the rest of the year, so nothing I can do about it. I just, I just have to go through it, I guess. That is it. I have cheer practice, and like, 20 minutes, so I gotta start getting ready and put my shoes on and put my hair up and take my makeup off. But yeah, other than that, I will talk to you guys afterwards.